Doctor, we talked about uh, community at the community level. That's where the fluoride gets into the water. Are there um, movements to try to reverse that trend? Yes. If, if people go to a web page, fluoridealert.org, they, there's a, a page there called Take Action, which gives you all, all kinds of suggestions for local campaigns. Mm -hmm. We will help wherever we can. I'm, I'm usually more than willing to go to communities and debate anybody that's pro-fluoridation. They usually refuse to debate me, which says a lot about their confidence uh, on a public platform. And so we've got lots of advice on campaigns and literature and buttons and bumper stickers and cups and all those kind of paraphernalia. So there's all kinds of things, and, and uh, we're being successful over the last couple of years. I mentioned 53 communities mm -hmm. have stopped fluoridation. But our big weapon is that we have the facts. We have the science on our side. And I don't say that arrogantly. As I've, I've spent, as a chemistry professor, specializing in environmental chemistry and toxicology, I've studied this issue for 16 years. And I wrote a book with two other scientists 80 pages of references to the scientific literature. Every single argument is, is documented. And I say emphatically, the science is on our side. This book's been out for 22 months, and yet we haven't had a formal scientific response to this book. I and my co-authors are willing at, at, to go to any community and debate with pro-fluoridation people they usually refuse. They won't debate in Portland, for example. Mm. We challenge them to debate. They, they, won't, they won't debate because they have the power. This is what it's about. They have the power, we don't. We have the science, they have the power. And the, by having the power means having the money to grease a lot of wheels be, behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's pretty the most frustrating campaign of my life, and I've been in a lot of, a lot of campaigns, the Vietnam Peace Movement, Biafra, Bangladesh, India campaign on uh, Mrs. Gandhi when he th she threw her opponents in prison. I was involved in fighting that. I was involved in the anti-nuclear campaign and then uh, uh, fighting incinerators and the whole dioxin issue and now zero waste. I've been involved in a lot of tough campaigns but I can tell you that the this campaign is the most frustrating because all the time you're shadow boxing the, even the waste people would debate me even the chemists who were uh, had a different point of view on dioxin would debate me the chlorine chemical council debated me but these guys no they 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 give their confident presentations in so on solo platforms Solo testimony before councils, solo meetings behind closed doors with editors and councillors on the phone, interviewed in the press. That's where they excel. But you give them the situation where both of you, both sides, are on the same platform at the same time, debating each other, answering questions from the audience. 